I think we're live. And roll. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to D Group Live. This is, uh, here we are. It is D here Group, and it is live. Sure is. Earlier, and, just Whoa, a few, 19. We've already got 19 well, in the fine. house. Before I came over here, I had a LaCroix at home, mm -hmm. and that kind of started us into a conversation about our favorite LaCroix flavors. We did, because I tried watermelon today for the first time. Underwhelmed, I'll be honest, I was underwhelmed. And I got messages from Anna Shepke and Brooke Bergen and Steph Marlott, and it turns out nobody is all that keen on watermelon LaCroix. Yeah, I've never had it, but. Not uh, that good. I just, I'm writing in to see what people's favorite flavor is. I don't know if I spelled it right, mm -hmm. but uh, it's probably a bad audience. I don't know that high school students, do you guys drink LaCroix really? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you did not spell it right. Yeah. Um, did I add a U in there? That was unnecessary. Yeah, the yeah. U is unnecessary. Yeah, and then, and then one of the other things we were discussing is bubbly versus Lacroix. Yeah, let me let me kind of bring you through my history of sparkling water. Tell us all about it. A few years ago, I felt like it was a good thing to start trying, so we went to the store mm -hmm. and got some. Bu so I think it was watermelon uh, bubbly, and it was no really flavorful and super too gross. Much. It's and, too much. Yeah. But then I transitioned to the Target brand stuff. It was called Simply Balanced. I think they've changed their name now. Yeah, yeah, Target it, but, brand. Um, mm -hmm. But that was really good. And But the thing that was like the barrier for me getting over to the LaCroix team was that they, they have really weird flavors. Like I, I couldn't that, get behind. What, what was the one that you said you had? Cola. The cola one's yeah. disgusting. I had a but they have like, flavored one. But they have like lemon, lime, orange. Yeah. Well, I've it's been a while, but I'm... I'm but, all in on lime. I'm all in on tangerine and orange. Peach pear? I don't like peach pear. I like the ginger peach from Target. Oh, okay. That, that's, ginger? That, was that would stuff. be good because peach is too sweet, so you need a little bit of the ginger to go with that. I don't know. Kevin says that you still have a half dozen of the one that you don't like. <laughs> oh, guess those ones are yours. The other thing I find with sparkle water is that there are certain sparkle waters that you want to drink by themselves on a hot summer afternoon. And then there are other flavors Come that you like want to enjoy with a meal. Like Tell us. pamplemousse. <laughs> That's, I think, my thing about LaCroix flavors. Like, what is... It's very pretentious. Like, what is that? Yeah. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, oh. you can drink it by itself, but you don't want to have it with your meal. Is it just, like, so unique? Yeah, it's just, yeah. like, it's too many flavor profiles. Or, like, lemoncello. I love lemoncello. It's, it's, a, it's a new one, and it's a favorite. But I don't want to eat... Or I don't want to like eat my food and have lemoncello. I think tangerine goes with everything though. Yes. Just a, just a classic. Hundred percent. I like you on that. When I drink a pop, when I was like, I, I guess I do occasionally, but when I used to, especially as a kid, orange I really crush. liked orange crush. Oh yeah. So I feel like it's kind of like a, a sliver of that flavor. But yeah. Still. Sort of like that, but it doesn't. Uh... What's, what's going on here? Uh, Kirby loves peach pear. Wow. He's, don't even. He's offended. Ashlyn does not like Lacroix, but she does love watermelon propel. Uh, ginger peach is good. Thank oh, you. Oh, I don't like propel. Coconut, key lime. Huh. Ginger peach. Yeah. Coconut. Okay. Steph also agrees. Key lime. Abby. Okay. Key lime is good. <laughs> I agree. But key lime is another one that I don't want to have with my meal. A key lime flies solo. You see the text from Sterling? <laughs> no. Peach pear is delicious. <laughs> That's nonsense. Peach I've never pear. had that one. I, who, is that the one that you guys have? Orange and berry. Yeah, Kirby, I'm with you on that. Why do you have so many rules? They're not, they're not rules. It's just certain flavor profiles go better with certain other flavor profiles. Yeah, that's true of, of non-LaCroix drinks, right? Yeah. Like you don't have... Orange juice and pizza. Yeah, like, I don't know, like fruit punch Gatorade with anything. Probably anything. I, yeah, yeah, that sounds kind of gross. I'm just thinking of like some of the most. You don't have like, like steak with milk, although you just don't drink milk. Period. Yeah. You don't drink milk with cookies. Drink milk with cookies. But do you drink it, or do you just dip the cookies and end up dumping the rest of the milk out anyway? I kind of like I follow the cookie with a sip of milk. You. So Peter's with me. So it's a dunk. Eat the cookie. No, I don't really dunk that much. Do you? Oh, okay. Who dunks. Let us know if you dunk. So you chase. The yes, cookie, yes. it's like bite milk. Yeah, bite, chew, and then a little milk to kind of wash it. Because it's like the hot and the cold contrast is really nice. Yeah, but then it's like, can it mingle in your mouth? Does it even have time? I don't know. Does it need to mingle in my mouth? Kind of. It feels... 
It's like those, you know those emergency packets that you're supposed to mix with water? Oh yeah. Those are Kevin just, just, eat the t just chew Kevin the Kevin just opens them, and just chug. pours it in his mouth, and then like fouls yeah. it with some water, swishes around and drinks it. It's <laughs> yeah. disgusting. That is not what you're supposed to do. I don't like emergency anyway though, so I guess I just never finish it. So. <laughs> Caroline also texted that coconut tastes like sunscreen. Which is probably true, uh, although I don't know that I've oh. had sunscreen. Uh, do you have Bates milk? Bates loves Oge Day with pizza. Do you have milk with your cereal? That's different. You no. don't drink the milk. Like, you kind of dip it with the spoon. No, right? Kirby's but, saying milk after cereal is bomb, like a sugary cereal. Like you chew the cereal and then you drink the milk? Like the cookie thing? Is that... Yeah. That's what he means? Yeah. yeah, like cinnamon toast crunch. It's got the cinnamon swirls, and yeah. I don't, I don't drink milk at all. Period. Cinnamon toast crunch. You don't even need milk for though. You can just, you just grab handfuls of that stuff. And Kevin that, likes cinnamon toast. Yeah, yeah, that's good. He can slam a box of that pretty quick. Martin has mm. milk every single meal. <laughs> Wait, who's trolling me now? <laughs> now Dave Jennings is trolling me. Cinnamon toast crunch is the best. Ha ha, Jennings. Uh, Listen. The flavor profiles are a very important feature of LaCroix. <laughs> and we're is, just waiting for people to jump on. So we got to talk fun. about something. Hey, if you're just getting on, uh, we're going to talk about milk or something. It seems like for a while, maybe some more LaCroix. <laughs> yeah. But comment. Let us know that you're here. Uh, this is our last night doing D-Group Live together like this. So we want to... We want to hang out with all you guys. so But not our last night to hang out. Right. Let's talk yeah. about that for a minute. Yeah, well, we should. We should. We'll talk about it later, too, once everybody's on, but we should, we should give them a little preview now. Okay, here, here's your preview. This is the last week of D Group Live, but since we're all still stuck at home and stuck in quarantine, we still want to have a chance to hang out with you. And so next week is Mother's Day, so we're going to be off and you should do something really nice for your moms. I mean, really nice. These poor moms have had some very stressful lives. They now are responsible to be your teachers. Just think about that. They've got a lot going on. So do whatever it takes to make something wonderful for your mom. And then the next week, we're gonna try a group Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. A group Zoom. Right? A group Zoom. I think we called it like a Zoom hang. I don't know if a that's Zoom cool hang. or if that's like would have cool. been cool. Let's do a Zoom So hang. on Sunday, May 17th, instead of meeting for D group like this, we're all going to invite you guys to join us on Zoom. You've probably done that a bunch for Zoom. school or other stuff. Yeah, you might be Zoom fatigued, but, but you haven't seen our faces on Zoom. So but all, all high school students and all of your leaders will be invited. Uh, we're not exactly sure what we're going to do on that yet. We've heard we can play some games and have some fun. If you have any ideas or suggestions of, of how to do some stuff, let us know. But uh, we think it'll be fun just That's to all fun, hang out together. And fun whoever hang. comes can come and hang, and we'll have the power to mute you if it gets really crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be – I think it'll be fun. It'll be diff a different pace than what this is. Uh, but, um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Again, that, we'll do that on May 17th, and then uh, we're kind of taking every week – as it goes, so we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> what's what's in here? Chris Bates says Tom's the type of guy to put the milk in the bowl before the cereal. <laughs> I don't know why I think yeah, that's so that's funny. That's not true. Uh, in college, I did this thing where I would like I would get some Honey Nut Cheerios. Did you hear and that? Put Kirby, milk in, special for you. And then like milk some peanut butter and dump that on top of it too. That was really good. But that it's been a while. What did Kirby say? Oh, Kevin. Did you see what Jill said? <laughs> did you hear that, Kirby? Something special for your mom. And then Kevin jumps in. I think Kirby's making dinner for the Pierces. Uh, that, uh, that's at least what I heard. It's going to be pizza and ranch, probably. But I don't... You Kevin's pal, looking for ideas. I already ordered myself some GG Pit Pats, so you're covered on Mother's Day. We're good for that so one. You're in the clear, dashy I already, rules. I already picked out my own presents. Kevin, Although if you could just comment you. in the, the reasoning behind your YouTube name, that would that would really do us all. Uh, we would really appreciate that. Oh, Amy says treat her to a night. Oh, that's Ruli. It auto-corrected you, I'm sure. A Ruli gift card would be nice. It is one of Amy and my favorite stores. They are so cute. Ruli. Ruli. It's no Roots, though, is it? Roots is upscale athleisure. <laughs> Ruli is more like everyday fashion. We all, I, I was just testing her. So, yeah, we all know that. that. What was the, um, you had a fun question that you were going to ask oh, everyone. I had a fun question. Tomorrow, I really only know this because of Andrew Griffiths, but tomorrow is Star Wars Day, May, it's May the 4th. 4th. May, yeah, the 4th May the 4th be, be with you. you. So it. I was thinking it'd be fun if everybody commented in some of their favorite, 
I guess made up or like pretend holidays like National Whatever Day or oh, yeah. May the Fourth. Some, I mean, not like Christmas or Valentine's Day or something. But what's your favorite wannabe kind of pretend holiday? I guess is is the question. Thanks, uh, Kyle. I got it. She loves my shirt. It's a Waymaker. It's Waymaker. Everyone's favorite song right now. They targeted me with the ad on the internet, and I was like, add to cart, yes I will. And yeah, they got you good. hot preview. Then I ordered another one for Aria, so we could be matchy-matchy in our Waymaker shirts. Isn't that so cute? You should get Ocean shirts, too. <laughs> I don't think they make those anymore. Oh, that was so five years ago. Yeah, people still like the song, but I don't, I don't think they're making shirts Ashlyn's about Ashlyn's texting it. asking if she gets a Mother's Day gift card, too. She's, she just wants money, I think, as well. National, National Corn Day, June 11th. That's awesome. Um, National Corn Day. What else? What, what, are, what are some of your other favorite made-up, pretend, national, whatever day holidays? Kirby's really represented here. Talk Like oh. a Pirate Day. That's a good one. Answer the phone like Buddy the Elf Day. That's funny. Tom Ward, what's your favorite color? <laughs> We've got a, I've got a website here with some random, unique. They're called Bizarre, oh. Special, and Unique Holidays in the Month of May. National Hammock Day. That sounds nice. That's a good one. That's like when you go out in your Eno and just sling it up between some trees and hang out. Did you know that this was Pacific Islander Heritage Month? I, that's kind of a month one. That maybe is cheap. I didn't know that. It's also National Hamburger Month. Some of um, my cousins are Pacific Islanders. What is today? The third? Garden Meditation Day. Huh. Interesting. Lumpy Rug Day? That doesn't feel worth celebrating. No. Uh, National Can Candied Orange Peel Day. Candy orange peels. Uh, we'll celebrate that tomorrow. Not a favorite of mine. Yeah. Let's see. National. Oh, uh, Kyle, that's tourism smart. Tourism Day. Kyle claimed Friday. Groundhog Day is my favorite Thursday. holiday, so that my parents get me presents. That is that's smart. smart. That is smart. Oh, Quentin, the first day of March Madness. Oh. That is. I'm with sad. Quentin. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. were supposed to go to the Final Four this year. I've probably said this to everybody like a thousand times, but what a disappointment. Uh, that really, I was really yeah. sad for you. What else? Any one. other good national whatever days? Funny, funny random days? Let's see. Ooh, some of them are not so good. Uh, frog jumping day, May 13th. Wait. Not sure what that means. Who turns himself into a pickle? National Sea Monkey Day comes up on May 16th. No dishes, no dirty dishes day. That's, we have not been celebrating that often in our house, but. National peanut butter day. National be a millionaire day. That's on May 20th. Uh, How do you just celebrate that day? Like. Yeah. How do you, yeah. Like I'm going to be a millionaire today. If you're a millionaire, today? don't you set, kind of celebrate that every day? Yeah, probably. Yeah. What is Amazon morning? Prime day. Oh, that's a good day. See, the thing about Amazon Prime Day, though, because I was, like, really looking forward to that day, but I feel like it's more like buy a bunch of stuff on Prime that you don't actually need day. Because if you're going into Prime Day with, like, specific things in mind, like, oh, I want, like, this type of thing and this type of thing, yeah. you can't find it. It's a different vibe than Black Friday. Like, yeah. Black Friday, you can get a big deal on, like, a big ticket item. Amazon Prime Day is like when Kevin buys a robot vacuum or something. Yeah. That's or what like happens. extra like Sorry. Ford Love phone you. cords or like slippers or just like kind of weird yes. miscellaneous things yeah. like that. Although Spike Ball had a deal a couple years ago. Slammo? Well, no. It was the real Spike Ball. Oh, the real and deal. And I missed the Spike Ball deal and that's why we ended up with Slammo. Because <laughs> the Spike Ball, like, it lets you do whatever percentage of... <laughs> they were all claimed by the time I got around to put it in the cart. So Shoot. So Slamo is what is what we own. So National, National Wii Sports. That's awesome, Colin. Step in the puddle and splash your friends day. That's awesome. Uh, well, keep saying hi, keep commenting, and if you're here, we got 83 people here. That's pretty fun, especially because it's so nice outside. Hopefully, some of you are even watching on your phone, sitting on your deck or something. But uh, keep commenting in, time. saying hi, or uh, if you have a, a favorite national whatever day, tomorrow's uh, Star Wars Day, may, may the 4th be with you. So uh, let us know how you're going to be celebrating that too, I guess. But uh, Oh, yeah, you should, put, uh, you should get costumes and take pictures and post them on the internet and tag us so we can see that them. That would be awesome. Our Instagram story would be really good tomorrow. Oh, we have a lightsaber. We do? 
No, I mean I do. Oh. I thought you meant, we made like a Star Wars promo video we like did. four years ago. I think ago. we borrowed those. I think Sterling yeah. borrowed those lightsabers from Dave Jennings, actually. Yeah. But I have my own light, well, it's Ezra's lightsaber. You know that Grant Tignazzante has made a lightsaber before? What? Like a functioning one? I mean, not, I mean, it wouldn't hurt you, probably. Well, I don't mean like to slice. <laughs> I like, mean, like, does it like light up? Yeah, no, it's really cool. It makes uh, sounds? I think it makes sounds. It's been know. several years, but. No, it, was, it was pretty sweet. That's legit. National Kirby Day, June 15th? <laughs> what? Oh, man. One time my friend Amanda wrote Amanda's Awesome Day on one of my other friend's calendars as like a joke. And so we, we legit <laughs> celebrated it. We threw a surprise party. We made t-shirts and snacks and invited a bunch of people. We had Amanda's Awesome Day. And then what my friend spelled awesome. I don't remember. My friend spelled awesome wrong on the banner. So we still make fun of her for that. So it was in like the 11th grade. It was really fun. So you should throw an awesome day for one of your friends if you feel like they need a little pick me up, which we literally all do. Yeah, I would, I would take that. Yeah. There you have it. Boom. Let's do it. Okay. This is fun. Should we move on now? We should. Okay. Uh, tonight we are gonna have some fun. Like we said earlier, it's our final D Group Live night like this. Don't worry, we'll still keep hanging out. We're gonna do some Zoom calls together starting on Sunday, May 17th, because. Next week is Mother's Day and Kirby's making dinner for Jill. I, at least that's what I heard. Um, so this is our final D-group night. And so we thought it would be appropriate and fun to celebrate all the awesome stuff that's happened this year. Celebrate! Uh, so it's going to be, a we're going to do that together here on YouTube. In a second, we're going to spin off to a video, which has some different people sharing some of their, some of their favorite uh, memories and mm -hmm. celebrating mm -hmm. some, some, uh, some of the stuff that's happened this year. Yep. And then once you guys spin off to your groups on house party or Zoom or whatever, you can kind of do whatever you want to hang out and celebrate. Maybe I picture everybody bringing their own cupcake or something and like being on their phone and having fun. But uh, if you have a cupcake, if you have a cupcake, that's what you should do. If not, uh, you'll have fun in your group. But uh, so before we go to the video, we want you guys to be filling up the comments with this question. I'll write it in here too. But what are your what are some of your favorite Chapel Street memories from this year? and or what has God done this year, okay? What are some of your favorite Chapel Street memories from the year and or what has God done this school year? So uh, please be writing in some comments, some, some of your favorite memories as we go. But now we're gonna hear from some of you guys about some of your favorite memories. Woohoo! What's up y'all, I'm Matt. My favorite Chapel Street memory is probably trying to ski for the first time. And let's say I had minor success with that. Uh, this year, I've definitely opened up my heart more towards people. And I've learned so much from everybody here at Chapel Street. I've gotten to a point in my relationship with God that I, instead of just wanting to accept him, I want to have a full relationship with him. My favorite memory from this year has to be the winter retreat. Um, you know, it was just such an amazing weekend, full of tons of fun and laughter. Um, it was especially special for me because it was my first retreat. So it was my first time meeting everyone. And, you know, I just gained so many new close friends and mentors. And I just I just had a blast. Um, you know, I think also some of my favorite memories are just hanging out with all the guys at D Group. Um, we just have some of the best leaders, uh, Jesse, Jonathan and Kevin. And, Every Sunday, you know, just eating popcorn and, and talking about sports, talking about just tons of different life things. It's just a fun time always, um, especially when we can make fun of the Houston Astros. Sorry, Matt. But yeah, those are definitely my favorite memories. Hey, friends. A couple of my favorite Chapel Street memories this year have been Paint Wars, my mission trip to Mexico, and Sunday Night D Group. Paint Wars was such a fun time getting messy with friends and making more friends in younger grades. My mission trip to Mexico was influential because of the people that I met and the friendships made. Whether they're living in Mexico and ministering to others around us, or we were helping them in our work sites, friendships were built that I will never forget. I watched my two best friends get baptized, and it was so, so evident that Christ was moving in everybody's hearts. And lastly, in my D group, our leaders have been encouraging and inspiring as they walk through high school with us. Stephanie, Amy, and Beth, you are the best, and I'm so thankful for you. Hi, I just want to say I'm super grateful for the 
community that I've acquired through Chapel Street students, my D group leaders, and my D group have made such a positive impact on my life, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Hey guys, it has been an awesome year of D group, so um, I want to share a few of my highlights. Um, I would say it starts off with the student leader retreat. Um, I love the process of watching the student leaders kind of come together on that retreat to dream about what the year could look like and um, and just to really discern where God is leading Chapel Street High School and um, and then to watch the student leaders work throughout the year to make those things come true and then to kind of lead up to the um, student-led gather, which was really creative and awesome this year. So huge shout out to the student leaders. That was amazing. And then as a senior D group leader, we started crying all together pretty early in the year and just shared a lot of really sweet times, um, encouraging each other and cheering each other on and um, talking about what's next. That has been such treasured times and exciting conversations as we look forward to what's in store. Um, another highlight would be playing the Enya game on the fall retreat. Um, there's really so many. It's been such a great year and um, just to the class of 2020 to our seniors, we'll miss you and we love you and you're the best. Hey everyone, Jonathan here. Uh, I just want to share a little bit about my experience in being a D group leader this year. I had the unique experience of leading a group of boys that I actually had in fifth and sixth grade. Uh, one of my favorite stories from that time was when these boys were in sixth grade and we were driving to Lazarus house and the boys decided to get into a farting match with each other. Uh, the goal was to gas one another out and to make it smell as bad as possible. And let me tell you, these boys succeeded in doing just that. Uh, we were a little nervous about our time at Lazarus house, so we bargained with the boys that if they could just hold it together for the half hour that we were going to be there, we'd take them to Burger King and buy them some like 39 cent cones or whatever it was. <clears throat> so fortunately, uh, they did just that. They did a great job while we were there. We went to Burger King and uh, had a fun rest of the evening. There were times that year where we wondered what God was actually going to do uh, in those moments that we had together each week. Um, but it's been really cool this year catching up with them now as juniors and seniors and just seeing God's faithfulness in their lives. Uh, to hear some of the stories about the impact that they are having uh, on their peers. Uh, that some of these guys have just become incredible leaders and it's been so fun to hear some of those stories and to watch that in action. Um, there are others that God has just completely taken hold of their lives and transformed who they are. And it's just amazing hearing the conversations that, that we're having with them about what God has been doing, how he's leading them. And I'm just so grateful and so excited to have this experience, to see what God has done, just knowing that he's going to continue that work even as they are moving on, graduating and heading off to college. Hey guys, it's Chris here from Masterpiece Ministry. Um, Jamie and I couldn't coordinate a time to record this together, so... I'm going to be saying thank you from both of us. We're just both so very grateful that so many high schoolers serve within Masterpiece Ministry. Um, buddy break and Sunday mornings couldn't happen if it wasn't for you guys taking your role of being the church seriously. We're just very grateful for all those high schoolers who stepped out and serve both weekly and monthly within Masterpiece. I'd encourage you to reach out to your VIPs over the next few weeks via video, even if it's pre-recorded, so they get a chance to see your faces and hear your voices. It seems silly, but they do really enjoy seeing and hearing from us. So again, thank you, and I hope that when we get back into the swing of buddy break and Sunday school, we can count on our high schoolers to help out. Hey, Chapel Street High School students, this is Miss Becky, and I just wanted to take a minute to say to those of you who have served with Chapel Street Kids this year, a giant thank you. You have made a difference in the life of a Chapel Street kid, whether you are rocking a baby in the nursery or teaching a story in a preschool room or playing games with a bunch of wild adventure club kids. We want you to know that you have made a difference. You are a amazing and we thank you. So if you are graduating, we look forward to hearing about all the great things that God's going to do through you. And if you are not, we have plans for next year and maybe even for this summer. So we invite you to come back. Um, so thanks so much, high schoolers. You are the church. 
Hey, high school students. I wanted to reach out on behalf of myself and really of Chapel Street Church leadership to say thank you. Um, if you were to walk around one of our campuses, I know this is true at the Mill Creek campus, on a typical Sunday morning when we're in our buildings and worshiping together, you would find students serving in every area of our church. So for all of you who have held a baby or taught a Sunday school class, who've um, run the slides for our worship, been a part of the worship team, for those of you who've been ushers and greeters, who've served coffee, who've really done all of it, um, we are so grateful. Someday people will tell you that when you're a full grown adult that you're a part of the church. Um, don't listen to that. You are a part of the church right now and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you from all of us. That's that pretty, was so fun. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I feel like we could do that all night, which is exactly what we're going to do, actually. So that huh? makes sense. That Good. Makes sense. Uh, we were sitting here reading these comments, and they were making us laugh. They were awesome. Yeah. Don't cry. Some of them were so many good comments. Easy I love Anna Shepke's, though. Axe their own okay. for Joey. Do we need to relive that? Who won that battle, by the way? Was it... Was it? Uh, uh, it was Anna. It was Anna, okay? She's right. A, she's a better axe thrower than I think than the me. better memory is when you... We're just like tackling people in the dining room. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it time. was one time. It was one person. I only tackled Haley Mansky. <laughs> that was crazy. And we did get yelled at uh, by the dining person. I love some of, we were asking each other during during the video when it was playing too, what were some of our favorite memories? And I feel like you guys touched on, on lots of them, if yeah. not all of them. Mm -hmm. The worship, uh, that night we were here at Kesslinger for that gather. No, like, that was mine. Remember, that was yours. I said that first, we both loved it. Whatever, the, se uh, the second gather, when we yeah. played all the fall festival games and then we worshiped in the worship yeah. center. That but was awesome. Also worship on both retreats this yeah, year. Yeah, that was, was so good. was super great. Uh, I love some of the like the group stuff. It looks like Logan with the sophomore boys went to Top Golf. Mm -hmm. I saw Kirby, or I think it was I think it was Kirby that commented Top or what was that Whirly Ball with his group. Yeah, One of those free night things. That was that was pretty fun. Obviously Broom Ball. Broom Ball, yeah. Obviously. I did the sock exchange with the junior girls. That was really mm. fun. A lot of people have said uh, mission trips, of course. Yeah. Huge can, highlight. Yeah. Toronto, Ecuador. I, those are the ones I saw. I'm sure Mexico was in there. And yeah. Milwaukee too, but. Uh, some people are just commenting about Jonathan and his ridiculous story. I wonder who those yeah. boys were, but I also don't feel like I need to ask. I know. Like, it feels kind of... I prefer just not to think yeah. about it at all. Yeah. That's hilarious. 39 cent comb. That doesn't feel mm -hmm. like it was five years ago. Nope. We'll see. What other highlights uh, of yours? Buddy break is the best, says Colin. That is true. That is true. Buddy break. Um, some of the other things. Oh, the blizzard. On the bus ride to Winter Retreat. <laughs> I wasn't there because I yeah, went up were, early with all the band yeah. stuff. And so yeah, I was. pretty much the second I pulled into the parking lot, the snow At started. At, yeah, yeah, I pulled into Expeditions and I was like, oh, they're in trouble because yeah. it was coming down. It happens almost every year. So it's kind of just what it is. But, yeah. Uh, Gretchen, any other memories that you have that you wanted to, to share? Any other? What did I say? The second gather. Oh, what about paint wars? Yeah, it feels like forever. Kick though. it all the way back. Yeah, that That's was, how we kicked off the so year. Fun. That was really fun. I did so much work. Shout out to Allie Tanahaken, though. She did a lot. When she, she was. Did. She kind of like did a little internship with us for school. I don't know what that's called. An internship. Yeah, but uh, she did a lot of really good work. Yeah, that was cool. parking lot palooza was super fun. I know it doesn't count because it was like super recent, but I always love that student led. The videos that you guys put yeah, together, that, two like weeks ago, that group just night. watching like yeah. how much everyone has grown and matured, and then they all graduate and leave us, and it's really special. We don't talk about that. It's a really here. special we time. We don't do that here. Yeah. Okay. I uh, it just came to me, but we did a high school lunch. I think it was in this room. I'm kind of turned around where we are these days, but the football one. Yeah, it was like football themed, and like yeah. so many, like 50 of you guys came just to hang out and eat lunch, and then played. Was it Super Bowl dodgeball? Sunday? It yeah, was. Yeah, and Sunday. we. Oh yeah, we yeah. had the loaded nachos. Yeah, that, that was, was a fun. Night. That was fun. We've had a really good year. We have. It's been a good one. It's it definitely. Uh, we didn't anticipate how it would end. It was kind of like we were driving along, and all of a sudden yeah. it was like. Okay. We had that D group gather, the March Madness one, which yeah. is a fun night, and then all of a sudden we haven't seen anybody since. 
which is because that yeah because yeah. that next that week next was week. when everything was was done yeah. but just because our year came to a screeching halt doesn't mean um that we don't want to stop and celebrate what god did and even what he continues to do because even as i was saying our student-led gather that was amazing and like that's all happened since we've been in this and so even though life doesn't always look how we want it to how we expect it to and we just frankly we don't know when we'll be able to gather together again in person in a large group yeah. but that doesn't mean that we're not still together and that god isn't still moving in our midst and so it's so important the practice of stopping and remembering and celebrating. We used to do that regularly. We call it remember and celebrate, where we would stop and look back and say, look what God has done. And so I think it's worth doing every so often. And so it's really fun to be able to do that tonight with all of you. Yeah, I think in some ways this year is going to be the most memorable we've ever had. It's just... You are right about that. It's been a whirlwind, but it's been really good. So uh, obviously a shout out to you seniors out there who this is going to be even more memorable for you maybe than any of us. But uh, I think what Gretchen said is true. And e even though your senior year is different, I think it, it is still really good and, and helpful and healthy to, to celebrate all the great things that have happened even since we've been in this crazy quarantine life. So Definitely. Uh, to wrap up, before we send you guys off to spend time with your groups and to remember and celebrate on Shredding house chicken. party, uh, is there, are there good more one. good comments? Kirby's uh, the football lunch when they were oh, yeah. playing dodgeball through the, the church. What about the turkey bowl? Or playing football in the rain oh, on fall retreat? Or the, just the fall retreat. The turkey was bowl so was meaning. so um, muddy. Was, and yeah, in fall retreat, it rained like the whole was it weekend. Bowl muddy? I just, it was so cold. I don't think I remember anything. I remember else. we played Clue on the fall retreat, and yeah. like half the game pieces were missing, so we made them on. We like made them out of pieces of paper. It was really fun. Minor setback, major comeback, Quentin. Uh, I love it. Well, like I, I was saying uh, before, we got distracted by your awesome comments. Uh, before we send you guys off, you're going to have a chance to, to remember and celebrate and hang out, maybe with a cupcake in your groups tonight. But we wanted to circle back to what Chris and Becky and Sterling were talking about at the end of that video. They wanted to give a special thanks to all of you guys for mm -hmm. serving so well this year and, and even longer than that. Um, and we say all the time that you are the church. It's a phrase that um, people, I think, make fun of us for sometimes. Faith made a picture of us saying you are the church. That was kind of funny. But, we do um, say it a lot. Because we mean it. Because we do mean it. But, but tonight we want to just remind you and, and encourage you and challenge you with, with what that means. Because yes, it means attending services. And yes, it means serving. And, and we are so grateful for all that you do here at Chapel Street to make this place function when it's open and operating. But being the church means more than just serving. And so I wanted to share with you just a quick verse tonight. Then we'll send you to your groups. But it's from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. And it says this. Don't let anyone look down on you because you were young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Now, my guess is you've probably heard that verse before. It's pretty popular, especially a young, among young people. But um, Paul wrote that to Timothy. He was a young leader. But I think it's, I think it's really true, and I think it's really helpful. Even, even now, as we wrap up the D group year, and we're kind of in this unique situation where we don't see each other, and we can't serve and come to church and all that kind of stuff. But I love the idea of you guys setting an example. And I, when we say you are the church, that's really what we mean. Of, obviously, I've said it a few times. It is serving but I think you guys, even as teenagers, as high school students, have a really unique opportunity uh, to set an example, to make a difference, to make an impact in other people's lives. Uh, and yes, that means at church. Yes, that means serving an adventure club. But I also think that means in your families. I think it means at school or uh, virtual school or whatever they do now. E-learning. Yeah. E-learning, that's, that's what, what they called. call it. Yeah. Um, and so I just, I love what, what Paul says to, to set an example in your speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So I just want to challenge you guys tonight. You can jump in if there's anything you want to share too, but just challenge you guys that, that even, even as the world kind of feels like we're all remote and the best we do is see each other on a video screen, that you guys have a really unique opportunity and we need you to set an example for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, especially in some ways, could be advantageous to you just based on your technological prowess. Uh, so I think you guys have an opportunity in, in this uh, moment, even though we've been yeah. seven weeks into this, to really set an example in all the way that you live and to point other people to Christ. So that's what we mean when we say you are the church. Yeah, I think 
um, in terms of the challenge that's in front of us is, is how can we continue to serve and to love? And as we're going through the series on love in church, we're talking all about the famous love passage, right? Like 1 Corinthians 13 and, and all of the implications of that. And now you guys have the opportunity to work this out in what is sometimes the most difficult environment to really love. And that's at home with your families. I think a lot of us sometimes find it easier to go to buddy break and to love on the kids there than maybe to love our own siblings at home and our moms and our dads and we're all been stuck together. And for some people that's really fun and it's really wonderful. And for other people, it start to like grate on each other's nerves a little bit. Um, I saw Kate and Owen Robertson and their siblings made their parents like a seven course. Did you see that? No. Like a date night meal with like menus and they cooked everything. Wow, that's but cool. Just like a really incredible way to serve and love your parents. And we've got Mother's Day coming up. Like I said, spoil your moms, but just like Herbie. this is the place where you can love and serve really well in a in an environment that for for a lot of us we're getting a lot more family time than we're accustomed to and so i just want to um, encourage you guys to set the example there instead of being people that always complain about our siblings or always complain about how we're all stuck in one house together we can set the example in that selfless kind of love that we're learning about in first corinthians 13. yeah uh, we do this because we love you guys, but also because we believe in you guys. And, and we know what you can, can offer, not just to the church, but to the world, to your family, to everybody. Mm -hmm. And so tonight you'll have a little chance in your group to, to maybe process through that a little bit and, and talk about what it looks like to set an example in the way that Paul talks about. But um, otherwise, I, I think that's all we got. Yeah, right? just have fun and celebrate and yeah, tell all the stories. And celebrate. And laugh. A I lot. hope you tell so many fun stories that you're like crying, laughing so hard. Or peeing. Or or that. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe laugh Jonathan's to, guys are gonna be laugh farting. To UP. Yeah, or I laugh like, to you pee. I feel farting. like there's probably a fart contest coming in at least one or two boys groups now. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, gross. we love you guys. So we're gonna send you off to your groups now. You'll have a chance to, to have some fun, to, sh to share some memories, to talk about what God's done, mm -hmm. and to talk about the way that you can set an example in the world around us. So. And also, don't forget, this is the last D Group Live. So the last time we're going to do this on YouTube and then spiral off to groups next week, Mother's Day, we're going to be off. Spoiler moms. And then the next week, we're going to try like a, a Zoom hang with everybody. And so we'll give you some details about that. But that'll be coming at you May 17th. Nailed it. Ha! I never yeah, ever... National Zoom Day. Now that the date yeah, doesn't matter, I'm somehow remembering it. <laughs> yeah, so. that's really good. So, uh, okay, I think that's all we got. That is. Uh, let me pray for you real quick, and then you guys can go hang out with your D groups. Sounds mm -hmm. good? Yeah, let's Okay, do it. let's pray. Uh, dear Lord, just thanks again for tonight, God, for the opportunity to be together, even though uh, it's happening virtually, and it feels so different than what we're used to and what we we're looking forward to, but... But God, just thanks for the opportunity to, to look back and to remember and celebrate all the awesome things that you've done. Obviously, there's been some, some fun times and some fun memories with each other, but um, God, I, I hope and pray that as we discuss things in our group tonight, that we would just be remembering just how faithful you've been all throughout this year to, to help us to grow in our faith and grow in our understanding of you, to grow in our love to others. So God, I pray for all these groups. God, thanks for all these leaders who have taken the year all, this, all these Sunday nights off um, from all their other responsibilities in life to hang out with these students. God, just pray for tonight that it would be fun and memorable. And God, that you would use these students in this time, in their homes and in all the other places that they have influenced to, to be an example, uh, to make an impact for your name. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys. Okay. See ya sometime. Have fun tonight.